what's up ladies and gentlemen kings reaper here and welcome back to another episode of escape from tarkov playthrough now this episode is gonna be quite a lot of fun there's gonna be quite interesting situations that i've been through some scab rays that turned out to be insanely good and yeah pretty much a lot of pvp not much doing when it comes to quests but yeah we came to that phase in the game where pretty much everybody's going for pvp so our first raid of this episode is gonna be on customs where we spawned pretty much on the west side near the coast i pushed all the way across looking for some pvp fights and only to find this guy so i heard the dead sound over there but I wasn't sure if the guy was dead or no. So after flanking around, searching for him, I didn't see his body immediately, looking for him. And finally, I did find him here. But as soon as I found him here, I started hearing noises around me. I wasn't sure if it was a scav. It turns out it was a scav. So after smacking that scav as well, I went back to loot his body. I pretty much took everything he had and started pushing towards the dorms to see if anybody's there. And as I came here, I was being very sneaky because I didn't want anyone to hear me. And yeah, there was a dude sprinting into small dorms. So I kind of had an idea what to do. I decided to use this push set an ambush and wait for him and i had even better idea what he was doing right now he was trying to snipe from those windows now he was sniping no more but what i was unaware of is that he could potentially have a friend or that somebody else was sneaking up on me. So as, as I was waiting here... Yeah. No sound, no nothing. I just get tapped in a head, immediately die, and that's it. So, fortunate and unfortunate raid at the same time. But nonetheless, we went into another raid, again using Vepper Hunter and some medium range gear. The next raid we spawned on the far corner of customs where I start pushing immediately across and just as I came across I heard some movement going around here and yeah there was a dude trying to shoot on me from the stairs. So I decide to flank, slowly approach this, wait and see if he's gonna repeat that door. But unfortunately, he was not going to repeak, so the next step was slowly start pushing towards the building. First get rid of that scav. Reload our mag. And then see if those guys are gonna come out. Since they still didn't come out, I decided slowly to push towards the building and sneak on sneak on them pretty much, try to catch them off guard, but what I was not counting with is the fact that those guys were just about to leave. And there was two of them. So as they were leaving, I decided to hunt them down, start pushing behind them, try to catch them off guard. Oh, it seems they were running suppressed weapons as well. They were somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. One of them dead. Perfect. Now where is his friend? Now oh, there he is. Nice. 
Nice nades. Unfortunately, this guy was hitting me more than I was hitting him, obviously, so I had to fall back. And obviously he pushed on this side as well. But I couldn't see him so far. So before proceeding to fight him, I decided to use painkillers and heal myself up a bit. Because I didn't want to whine all the way through this fight, but this guy was obviously camping somewhere. He was patient, waiting for me to make a mistake. So before anything else, I wanted to heal up to get my health at least a little bit back up. And yeah, he obviously missed those shots, but he was camping somewhere back there waiting for me. So I had to... Flank back, again, break the vision with him. I was waiting for him to come here to push me, but obviously he was not going to do that. So I healed up pretty much all the way. And then again, it was time to play cat and mouse game. Who's gonna find who? But this guy either decided to move on or he was still sitting somewhere in those bushes along the wall. I was trying to find him, but I couldn't. But there was somebody else pushing there. So that was one player less. After searching for this guy, looking for him, I couldn't find him anywhere. I decided to go for the loot and his friend was pretty much high level. So that was nice. I took what he had, but there was still somebody around here slowly pushing. I wasn't sure if that was a player or a scav, but... In the end, I found out it was a scav, so I picked up everything I could from these guys, so there was some player scavs as well. It was some gear, nothing extreme, but still, after swirling around, going through some more stashes, I went out and extracted. The next raid we were going in, I decided to go with my PMC. But then I saw this cab and figured, you know what, I can wait still one or two minutes. We should maybe better go off with a scav to make some money, you know. Money runs with scavs are pretty much good right now. This time we spawned at the old gas station and I started pushing all the way around to get to the new building. Only to find a player here. And this guy damaged me pretty much immediately, quite bad. He took out my arm, I was bleeding. Thankfully he didn't take my stomach, but yeah, there was obviously somebody else shooting here. There he was. So I shot that guy pretty much from a distance, but the problem was there was still a guy in this building that I had to deal with. So pretty much what I had to do was go left and right to see which flank is he going to take to catch him on the open field when he can't hide so much behind anything. From this side we knew there was a guy behind there. I don't think I killed him with that first shot. So I was still looking for him. But yet had to be aware of the other player that could flank around from this side. And he was still not pushing. So I pretty much went back to the left side to check if this dude is here and I saw something in the grass. Well now we killed him definitely. But I knew the other player is gonna use this situation and of course he was already pushing out. Finally, killed him, but I was wounded as hell, so it was time to heal up insanely. I almost died here, but 
I did kill both of these guys. So yeah, pretty much good situation, good positional awareness. I knew what he was going to do, so I just had to catch him off guard. And he had some sugar for me. Oh yeah, that's what we needed, sugar. Some more Salua for healing. Perfect. So I went to search the other guy's body. He also had some decent items in his inventory. And as I was pushing towards the extract, I found another two or three dead bodies piled on the same place. They were obviously not looted completely, so I looted up those bodies while moving towards the extract. Then went along, checked all the stashes and extracted at the rocks. So the rock passage was my extract for that raid. So the next raid I decided to take some more gear with me in. I was thinking about going with the sniper rifle, but then again my scav was up once again with an SV-58, 68, 78, I don't know, yeah, pretty much the juice cannon. So I spawned in and immediately searched the stash and decided to go loot this building, cause this building is insane when it comes to loot. And as I was going through this building, I heard some players running also towards here. So I took an angle and waited. That dude was geared, but he had a friend. And this was my cue to push. I knew I had to push immediately. And boy, oh boy, two just guys who I just killed as a scav. Well, pretty much only thanks to the fact that they, that I had that SV-58. So, pretty much, I looted up this guy immediately, but I didn't know if there was somebody else as well. The scav was aggroed constantly. So I looted this guy partially, then looked around, didn't find anyone, started looking through his friends inventory, picked up their guns, and yeah, this was insane. I had two MDRs, I picked up the AK, I picked up everything that was good from items, I had to unload the ammo if any good was inside, but for some reason this dude was running bad ammo. So I pretty much replaced the armor, the body armor, for his, because that trooper armor is also, I believe, a bit better than the other one. So after looting all of their stuff, I started pushing towards the extract. I didn't want to lose the gear, so I played it pretty much safe. Waited up in some bushes to give chance to all the people to get out, because this raid was insane. I did not want to lose that gear that I so hard fought for. So next raid, I went in with that SV-98 sniper rifle and my PMC in order to snipe some people, try to hunt someone as a sniper. So we pretty much spawned once again on customs on east side and I started immediately pushing for sniping positions but I didn't find anyone up until this point when I was sitting on the sniper hill. And this dude just went across, I barely missed him, so I knew if that extract that he was going for is closed, he was gonna use the land bridge that is right next to him. So I had to push a bit away from him and wait for him, wait to see if the extract is open. If it's not, I know he's gonna push towards the land bridge, which is gonna be a perfect opportunity for me to snipe him down. And he was already on the land bridge. So I tapped him once, but that was not enough, because I didn't hit a headshot. So I pushed further down to see if he's still there, and he was. And that, that right there, was his biggest mistake. He didn't know where I shot him from, so he stood under the tree, which gave me a perfect opportunity to kill him. And he was wearing an insane helmet, a good body armor, so pretty much after that I just went out and extracted because there was no point in waiting anymore because I missed all the possible opportunities to kill him, to kill anybody else. 
So the gear that I got I pretty much just sold because I didn't need it anymore. And the next raid <clears throat> that we went in was with this AK. Now this raid was going to be also very good. So we spawned on the west side of the map and I started pushing immediately across. So I started flanking around here and there searching for people and I didn't find anyone until this point where I came back again into the expansion of the map into the new industrial area. I was sneaking around but this dude was pushing out of nowhere. And the best part was he had a friend which I didn't even know for. So I killed both of these guys. Although it did cost me a mag since I obviously quick reloaded which I didn't realize at the point. I pretty much reloaded the mag that I had with the ammo. Healed up. Because I needed something to defend myself with. I had to fix my arm as well because they took it out. So after fixing the arm, healing up, reloading my mag, putting it back into the gun to be able to fend myself if somebody would come across, I went to look for their gear and to see what they actually had. And boy oh boy, another MDR. These guys were also loaded. So I pretty much took everything that was worth taking. Obviously that Triton had some mags with good ammo inside, so I instantly just replaced it with mine. I took his MDR in order to defend myself, because he had more ammo and more mags. This dude had a VSS, which was good. And at this point it would seem that I heard someone, but I still couldn't see anyone, I didn't know if people were here or no. So I was going through the inventory of this dude, so that was way too much mags for me. I could not carry all of these mags. I was thinking how could I replace this? How could I do this? So yeah, I pretty much had to drop some mags, take the ammo out to make some more space for this dude's ammo. And just as I was doing that, I did hear somebody coming here. And this dude was also oblivious. So after finishing looting those guys, picking up what I could from that third guy that I just killed, I went on and extracted on the old gas station and came out with all this juicy gear. Now this will be the end of this episode guys, I hope you really enjoyed this one. This one was pretty much fun for me, because there was a lot of PvP, a lot of lucky moments and a lot of good plays. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't do that yet, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notifications button to be notified when another video comes out. Well, this will be it for this episode and I'll see you in the next one, guys.